Hello? Hello, Joan. One of my loads had a short circuit and my circuit breaker didn't trip. Now my whole panel is down. I remember you talked to me about this Phoenix contact power supply. Yes, yes, that's our 303 power supply with integrated circuit breakers. Mm, let me visit you to explain more. First of all, let's assume this demo is the power distribution box in your machine. I can simulate a short circuit just like what you face. Let's see what happens when I trigger a short circuit on channel 3. Oh, it does trip instantly and this is what I want. For a conventional power supply and circuit breaker setup, they are separate entities. But in this case, it is an integrated circuit breaker. So I wonder, will one channel trip affect other channels? No, it doesn't. Our trail tree continuously monitor the current. The moment a short circuit occurs, it can isolate the faulty channel while keeping the rest of the channel running. For a conventional circuit breaker, there's a lever to reset. How do you reset your red channel? We have two ways to go about it. Firstly, if you are physically at a panel, you can easily reset by pressing the button like this. But with our trail tree, when there's a short circuit, we also have a remote reset function. So when you give a 24 volt signal to the terminal, the channel can be reset back to on. That's such a huge time saver. So instead of sending someone on site, the engineer in the control room can just reset it remotely after troubleshooting. Exactly. This helps to improve efficiency and minimize the downtime. What other benefits your power supply can offer? Our Trail Tree power supply has multi-stage warning system, which notifies the user before any failure event occurs. So if the current goes over 80% of the rated current, the LED will turn yellow, just like this. It's a pre-warning that the load is getting closer to the limit and there could be a potential overload. But what if I missed out on the pre-warning? So if the load exits 120% of the rated current, the LED will start blinking yellow and red. That means it's close to tripping. Then, if the overload continues, the LED will turn red, indicating the channel has tripped and the power is cut. That makes troubleshooting faster. Yes, and our Trail Tree Power Supply also comes with IO-Link communication. You can configure things like channel prioritization and monitor voltage or current for each channel remotely. That will be useful for my team. Well, thank you so much for today, and now I'm keen on using your solutions. My pleasure. If you have any further inquiries, our team of experts at Phoenix Contact is ready to support you anytime.